So you might be in a situation where you're trying to go ahead and add codes inside of Google Authenticator. Now, doing this is actually very basic and really doesn't take too much time at all. So the very first thing you want to want to do is you want to open up your Google Authenticator application. And when you do that, it's going to come into this type of page. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to click on add a code. So what this is going to do is it's going to bring up your camera. So either you can go and scan a QR code or you can enter a setup key. Now, you want to take a close look at exactly what type of code that, you know, company or whatever sent you. Now, in this case, I just have this basic one that I just found online. So you can see that there's a QR code right here, right? But sometimes it may not be a QR code. It may be a, you know, key that you have to plug in or type in. If it's a code that you have to type in, you want to click on enter a setup key, and then it'll bring you into this page and you can enter that setup key as you normally would. But if you have a code such as this one that you want to go and scan, Click on scan QR code and all you're going to have to do here is go and bring that QR code in. So I don't even know if this is going to work, but I'll have this QR code right here, right? So what I can do is I can go and bring this code over this particular page right here and I can go and see if it's accessible. Now it says a one account imported, so it did actually work. And now you can see that that particular code will come up right here now. So that is essentially how it works for the most part. So you can bring in these codes, you can bring in the setup key if you need to. And now that is added. Now, let's say you already have a code and you need to put in another one. But what you can do is you can go ahead and click on the plus button on the bottom right corner right here. And then you can go and click on enter a setup key or scan QR code. So you can scan the QR code once more and you can do the exact same thing again. So that's essentially how it's done for the most part. You can just click on the plus button there and then add it over and over again. And that's essentially how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.